Hi everyone, Lynn here with Mon from Monday Journals and um, I have three similar sewing themed journals that I'm putting up for sale in my Etsy shop and this is just a quick flip through of each one of them. They are pretty much a variation of the same type of journal but the pages are a little bit different. So um, at, on the outsides of them uh, they are they were decoupage. I didn't like the feeling, so I actually used some Tim Holtz matte medium, put it over the top, and I liked it way better. Um, it's not sticky. It is has a, a, a thicker feel to it, I want to say. Uh, these are actually upcycled inserts from the Recollections um, uh, Travelers notebooks that they have. I use the outside to uh, store my... Uh, inserts that are completed and so these are the inside books that I've taken apart I've um, uh, tea stained paper and uh, embellished them and then when I'm done I sew them back together by you know I sew them with a a, a bind uh, a binding and they are so they are travelers notebook sized here we go. They're about four and a little over a quarter by is that, uh, five. Oops, I'm sorry. Eight, eight and a little over a quarter. So they are standard size. They fit inside um, traveler's notebooks like this. So if you wanted to, uh, I, you know, use them as inserts, you're going to open them up, find your center. This one has a, actually a pretty delicate center, but you would just insert it inside and, um, you know, there you go. You'd have it inside. So let's do a quick walkthrough. This one has, uh, these are all on the outsides and in the inside you'll find a pattern, vintage sewing pattern girls and uh, these these are originals. Uh, two of them have originals and one of them is not, but the original is inside. And um, you can see I've done some sewing around the outside. And there's there's pockets. Some are tuck spots, some aren't. Uh, we got just pages, there's you know tuck spots all over. Just like you know, um, a nice little embellished uh, notebook. This one actually has, some of them have these uh, fancy little paper clips that I've put some just some uh, seam binding and sewed on some trim. This one actually I put it inside the inside the journal instead of on top as you'll see the others. And then there'll be books, little mini books inside as well. I'll put that back and I'm done. But mostly it's it's open for you to put anything you want in it. This particular book, I believe, does not have any stamping in it. If whoever purchases this one would like me to put a couple of sewing stamps, rubber stamp you know, images in it, I can. Uh, this page is actually has, um, and it goes all the way through the other side, a pattern glued to the paper. Kind of gave it a little different look. You can see it's mainly blank. There's trim on the edges. Um, the middle of this one has a magazine page from June 1960. Uh, one, it says, have you forgotten how to pause? It's kind of a little story. If you open it, you could probably read the whole thing. And the inside, um, the other side of the page was um, my easiest hairstyle by Flores, Florence Henderson. Henderson and the pages this magazine is very it's delicate so you, even though I made them into pocket pages I would store something very carefully in here because it, it could rip it's actually a page from Family Circle Here's my tea stained paper some sewing embellishments another another little booklet you can keep some notes in it 
I can turn the pages. Just a few pages in it for some secret notes. And here is the other paper clip, embellished paper clip. I like to include those in mine. Kind of fun. Another tuck spot. But a lot of open writing. And this one has one of my sewn in vellum pockets at the back so you can store some goodies in it. All three of these do have this pocket sewn in. So that's the first one. And the second one, this one has a green image. This is the Tim Holtz decoupage. It's a paper, a very thin tissue-like paper. And that's been decoupaged on the outside of it as well. Some pockets. Same pages. This one has a fold-out on it. And I actually put the embellished paper clips at the top of this one. Uh, this is another a similar pattern color, pattern girl, I should say, a sewing pattern cover uh, that matched, you know, the front cover. So I included that one in the inside. Some teacup, dictionary page, a little stamping here. Has an, uh, an embellishment. It's actually a few antique vintage buttons in a little bag. They can be used any way the person would like. You can take them out, sew them on the pages, glue them on. Um, but added those to it. This one has a pocket. has no book in it. And a little tab that has a button sewn on it. This one's a mint green. Uh, the inside, this is actually a printed image of one of the vintage patterns that I do have. This is Rick Rack, gold and white. There's a book, a little booklet inside. Some stained, has some lavender, actually it's uh, ink. Lavender is a little sparkly too, if you look, there are sparkled flecks on it. Put those back in. And here's a tuck spot, a little pattern, with the button sewn on to there. Another tuck spot. I don't have a ton of tuck spots. Um, I like journals that are have a lot of free space for writing um, instead of storage. If you have, you know, there are spots so that you surely can store. I love this page that I've tea stained with a piece of lace. Just gorgeous. Look at that page all day. <laughs> and here's the second booklet in this, this tuck spot. It's actually stored in there. And again, another zipper pocket. These are vintage zippers, by the way, and I do have a tutorial on how I did these. The vellum pocket. That's the second one. It's a green. And the last one is uh, a more of a red colored. Same thing though. Decoupaged. Has, this one has two pockets in it. This one has stamping in it as well. Tracing paper. This is a copied image of several of uh, some magazine girls. On one side, there's pink lace in here, paper clips again at the top. This one has a book in the first little pocket. There's a kind of a fun little embellishment I did with a, these are, I, I got it off the internet somewhere, it was a freebie, and uh, I actually cut out and print, I should say printed, then cut out two of them, two scissors, and put them on both sides of this uh, reading page with a little lace. It was kind of fun. Just some fun stuff in here. Embellished with a button. 
the little tab. This one does not have a ton of stamping either. Another paper clip. They're hand sewn on there. The little trims are hand sewn. Here's a it's one of those cutout trims that you can do. It's a paper punch. Oops. It's a doily on a piece of vellum paper doily heart and the inside of this one has um, a piece of one of the pattern inserts that tells you how to do some of the um, you know like your your pattern directions and this one had something fun on the other side I left these long in case someone decided that they wanted to um, tie something on it just because you know you could tie something maybe it maybe I'll do it before I ship it to who knows or before I list it I'll put some little beads on the bottom there. wasn't quite sure, but want to do something different. Here's the other half of that vellum. Some pink leftover paper, a little tuck spot. There's another. Well, this was actually when I was doing some tea staining. Or this one might be coffee dyed, but you can see the lace I threw over the top of it. So when it dried, I could see you can see the imprint on it. I love when that happens. So much fun. Um, another interesting page I put together. A little. This one's an envelope, so it has a stamp image of a torso and then inside it's it's a vellum envelope so you can put whatever you want inside of it. it has a little tab on the side there's the other half of that page that has some printing on it some copied and even these um these old patterns that I got, they look like they were from a magazine and it had somebody's handwriting on them. So when I copied them, of course, that transferred as well. And a piece of tracing paper with some stamping on it. And this is um, the image from the front. This was a shrunken image so I could make it fit better and, and kind of show up some of the back. But this is the actual image itself of the, the, real, the real pattern piece. And this one has the red-ish zipper with the vellum pocket and there you go that's it there are three vintage looking sewing journals that I will be posting up on my Etsy shop hope you liked what you saw and thanks for watching bye